one of the things I really wanted to replicate was these uh, plasma toroids. And I guess I first saw that from Back Mac Size video. And here's a recent one he just did with uh, you know, a couple guests you see uh, smarter every day, a couple other guys. He looks like he's having an aneurysm right now, kind of a <laughs> bad shot. But you could see sort of the side view of the toroid here. You know, pretty cool stuff. Custom glass blown tube. Probably, I think it's xenon, you know, different gases, but something about the concentration of the xenon, I think. The uh, high power density creates this nice thick donut that just looks really cool. And, you know, I don't want to drop $500 on one of these uh, tubes, on one of these globes, you know, and I get it. You know, they're not really mass produced. It's going to take somebody a lot of work just to do that. So, you know, it's not cheap. Terminator, a while back, I actually missed this video. He discovered that these uh, readily available bulbs that you can buy, they go by different names, you know, Edison bulbs, glow bulbs, whatever. They seem to create the same effect to a small degree. Now, you can see the toroid here. Um, you know, the thing about this one, um, he's running a very small power level, very low power level here. You know, pretty impressive amount of uh, current very low amount of current, you know, atypical of what these circuits will do. So you got to imagine if he cranked the power up, um, you know, it'd be interesting to see what that'll look like. Then uh, why Space Labs also recently did a replication. So use the same bulb here. You can see same effect. So cool stuff. Yeah, found these, got a couple, you know, they appear to be the same bulbs. They're branded Dark Steve on Amazon. So uh, we'll see how that goes, but you know, probably won't be able to get a toroid like that. It looks like that out of those bulbs. You're going to, you know, I'm probably going to need to get one of these. So that might be something I'll do. Uh, we'll see. And this right here would be one of the test circuits for that. It's just one that I had made a while back. I uh, tried to make sort of a wide loop there. I ended up sort of spacing my primary out more than I had it before because I was, you know, screwing around with uh another resonator here i needed the frequency to just be a little bit higher right so i might have to squeeze that back down you know it's not really going to be a problem uh with the running the globe right i'm not going to have a uh, second resonator so i'll probably just squeeze that back down maybe stack a little bit more gate capacitance i don't know i happen to have a secondary uh a resonator that i wound in the past for this to where this thing ran great you know just this one cap here um, I had a little bit more inductance here, you know, coming off the gate and, um, you know, basically same setup, but that particular exact resonator would run, you know, spit pretty decent plasma out at, you know, 15 volts or less maybe, and I could crank the power up and, um, uh, this one would like, you know, kind of heat up a little bit. It wasn't running too great. Not like the other one I've got back there that really doesn't get hot at all. This one would kind of heat up. Uh, and it's and it does kind of heat up slightly also now, but um, you know I've got it set up pretty good, so just gonna show that one a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna cut this guy on at 24 volts. Flame out, and he's already pulling about you know, four and a half amps, something like that. So I'm actually with this guy gonna back the gate back some, so I've still got a little bit of flame. And uh, then I'm going to crank the voltage up more now. So that's about 32. I had a little bit of glass on there from before. So I'm still back the gate. Oh, brought it back a little bit too far. This is kind of the tuning process I do with some of these as far as bringing it up. Alright. Crank it back up again. So we'll put that one at about 40 and that one at about 40 it's pulling about a uh, hundred and forty five watts something like that All right so yeah that one's that one's not a bad flame get my damn zoom right yeah not a bad flame there So, um, yeah, I think this coil will actually work out pretty good for a, a, a plasma toroid and whatnot. And actually, I had some glass. It freaking fell off. I keep having to, like, glue it on. 
But I had some glass on there before, and uh, that flame started reaching out pretty good on this guy. So this one was always one that ran pretty good in the past. Um, you know, just kind of finicky with the tuning sometimes, right? So like in this case, I bet that, uh, yeah, so like I can start to feel like the tiniest little bit of warmth on there just from that short run time. And if I put my finger directly on the fit, I can feel that the fit's you know, getting pretty warm. It's not like hot, crazy hot or anything, but it's just one of those things to where, you know, it it gets annoying to where if you've really got this thing running perfectly, you know, you can run it for a good five minutes, put your finger on the fit, don't feel any heat at all. Basically, if you get it tuned real good uh, where it, you know, doesn't heat up, then don't underestimate how hard it's going to be to uh, actually get it perfectly tuned once again if you uh start changing it around because <laughs> that's what happened to me so i got it pretty close now but uh you know it's not exactly how it was right